Hi ladies, it's Corinne and I'm back with another wig review for you today. And today this is on John Renault's Alexis and this is the color Shaded Peach, which is 30A, mm, I forgot it already, 30A 27S4, I'm pretty sure anyways. So um, it's shaded peach. And uh, let's see, I got this um, from another wig sister at a very affordable price. And uh, cause that's how I roll, that's how I roll. And um, I seem to like a lot of John Renaults cause I've been reviewing a few of those lately. So um, I just, there's so many different colors I'm gonna try with, with all brands and uh, so anyways, here I am with another one. And um, I, for the longest time when I first started wearing wigs, I did not think that I would ever care for this color because um, it is, well for one, S4 means this is a, a, a shade of a dark brown, like almost black. And my hair is more like an ash blonde, like the Eclair, the 24BT18, that's closer to my hair with like when the sun's kissed it and everything. Um, when I used to not wear wigs, if my head would see the sun, which now it only does when I go running in the morning, but that's closer to my hair. So like an ash brown, you know, light brown color. So I never thought I would do this color, uh, you know, with the one thing with the, the nodding, everyone knows with the black dots, the little black nodding, that with rooting, you know, that's the one thing you have to look out for. So I just didn't think I'd ever get this color. And I, I feel like, you know, it was hard to see um, this color. There's this color and then there's German chocolate, which is four slash 27 slash 30. This is 30A, 27 s4 so they're very similar this one has rooting and then the other one the, the 4 slash 27 slash 30 is blended throughout but anyways i got this on such a good deal i was like well if i'm gonna try an alexis this is gonna be the time to do it so i did and i i'm very glad i waited for winter time um of course it doesn't really feel like winter in arizona right now because it's like 70 degrees out and like i almost feel like it's too hot to be wearing you know jeans so um but uh anyways so yeah it's so if i wanted to wait till winter because i i'm just one of those weird people that like to wear my you know colors according to seasons so i wanted to wait because this is a darker color and i wanted to wait till the winter so that's what i did and um i i'm becoming more and more of a fan of human hair for a lot of different reasons but um, this is one of the synthetics that I am absolutely in love with and I will get more of this wig in different colors because I like it that much. So um, uh, let me tell you why I like it. This Alexis is um, like the creme de la creme of synthetic wigs. You can't get any better than this, uh, in my opinion anyways. But this cap, this cap is 100% hand tied. So if you you know a lot of times wefts bother us i know for me like wefted caps seem to be itchy or they also the wefted caps they leave that little the extra pillowy feeling and it makes our head look more rounded and then you have to go through and like you know remove some of the wefts if it's too big or thin out the um you know trim out the the extra like permatees that's in between the, the wefts that i've talked about before um you know it just and it just feels like, you know, thicker, but hand tied, it just, it moves very well. I mean, I don't think that's like a buying, you know, the, the changing, the game changer when it comes to synthetic or wefted versus hand tied. But you know, the, the idea is that it moves, you know, more freely. But if you want to do like updos, then, um, you know, hand tied works a little better in your favor. Um, I mean, you can make it work synthetic too, but, um, so the fact that it's hand tied, it's just closer to your head and this has a double mono top. So it's not just the regular John Renault mono top. This is a double mono top. And you know, if you can see like that looks, 
You know, it's not a silk top, but this looks like my scalp. It looks like my scalp. And um, like I wear this wig out and I don't think anybody is trying to figure out if this is my hair or not. Um, the other thing is this does not have a lace front. Oh, you can see my white hair, hair cap underneath. Um, this doesn't have a lace front. So, which for me, is a bonus because a lot of lace fronts they get itchy even the, the nice ones you know after a while they do get itchy depending on if you're sweating or if your wig shifts or just whatever sometimes your skin just gets sensitive and it gets itchy so this does not have it my head does not itch at all when i have this wig on i know a lot of ladies complain about um their wigs itching and between their wig and their bra those are the first things they take off when they get home which to me if that's what you're doing you're wearing the wrong wig and you're wearing the wrong bra so um because my bras are super comfy i could sleep in them in fact a lot of times i do and, and these wigs like you know i i do have some wigs that are cheaper just for the sake of color and variety and because the style is cute um you know i have some that are itchy and i'll just deal with it and you know sometimes it drives me nuts but um this is not one of those wigs this wig is very comfortable very comfortable um i have a small head and this fits perfect like there's you know a little bit of pull but it doesn't it's not baggy at all like some um wefted wigs that i have you know if they're baggy you can see it's there's like this much space between my head and the wig and I can feel it and it drives me nuts. But this hand tied one fits amazing. So if you have a petite head, this is a wig that you wanna try because it fits perfectly. My head is 21 and a half inches and, um, and this fits perfectly. So um, if you have a large head, to me, I mean, you can let out, you can let out the circumference, obviously, but um, I think with these ones, it's because it's hand height and it'll stretch. And here's the thing, I'm guessing that, like here's what I would do if there's wigs, and I've had to do this because I had a wig taken in and the lady did it like way, too, she didn't do the way I thought I was going, she, I thought she's going to, so it was really tight on me. So I had to get the whole wig wet and then I stretched it out. And now I don't have that problem at all because I stretched it out. So if you have a big head, get your wigs wet and just wear them and stretch it out. Problem solved. But um, anyway, so if you don't want to do all that meddling in though, and you just want like a, a, a wig that fits your small head, this is going to be your girl. Um, so let's talk about the density. The density of this wig is perfect. You, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know that if if, if the density is too thick, I'm gonna thin it because I don't like that, you know, snow beast, you know, prom or wedding of the 80s hair look. I, I don't like lots of thick hair. It just, it it looks super wiggy, it looks unrealistic. And, and when I see myself like in pictures, I'm like, Ugh. So I'm always thinning those wigs out. But this wig, I am not going to have to touch. I did have a, a John Reno Rachel and she's hand tied. She was super thick and I had to thin her out a lot. Um, and I see other people with those pictures and I can tell like, oh, it's super, you know, it has a lot of hair. But this density, I mean, I'm not gonna have to touch it. Look at how, look at that. The density is perfect. Um, now, and these waves, the waves of this are very, you know, some people have referred to um, this style as like, like Stevie Nicks style, or they feel, you know, like it's um, like 80s flower child hair. And, you know, I, it kind of is, honestly, I think that Farrah Fawcett look is super cute. Um, and I hope one day I can replicate it and I'm gonna try. I gotta find a really cute blonde wig and I'm gonna try and replicate the Farrah Fawcett look. Cause if a lot of ladies are doing the, the bangs from the eighties and they're thick and you know, in my opinion, it looks, it makes the, the wig look a lot more wiggier. Um, if you have thick bangs, um, I am going to, uh, I wanna try and replicate the Farrah Fawcett look. Um, and so this one, you know, I guess you could kind of say gives off that look. All right, so the waves on this, they're, they look like you've done your hair. You know, I mean, you could wear this for like a, you know, some fancy, um, but it's perfect for date night. It's perfect, you know, a lot of ladies out there that I see, you know, with, with real human hair on their head, they do this style of wave. And so that's, was the appeal to me because 
it you know looks like I you know I'm just doing my hair and it looks nice and um, so you could per wear just for casual going out or um, you know, like if you're going on a date you know it's uh, I mean you could wear this to a wedding too you can you know at the end of the day you can wear it every one but you know if you're trying to match your hair and style according to what you're doing like long voluptuous curls are for like holiday hair or date night or you're going to the ballet or you know uh some sort of fancy dinner um christmas party things like that um wedding if you're gonna be in a wedding of course this you could wear to a wedding as well it'd be perfect um so i love it these waves are just perfect they're they're waves of a slight curl um, I would love to learn how to replicate this wave in my human hair wigs. Um, I gotta, I gotta learn. I have, I have a lot to learn when it comes to styling human hair wigs. Uh, and then these bangs, you can definitely, so look, there's no lace front, but the way it lays, you know, it, like, obviously if I have it like that, you can kind of see that little line of demarcation. But a lot of like toppers are like that and a lot of wigs that don't have lace fronts are like that so um but it's not itchy and so that you know you can work around it but you know the bangs are you know fluffed enough or whatever that you're not going to see that line of demarcation um you could cut these bangs you could like i have taken this wig and um pulled it back to see if i wanted to cut the bangs but I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for bangs yet. Maybe if this wig gets, you know, the bangs get completely destroyed, then I'll trim them. But right now, I love, I love a side swept bang. It's just so like soft looking. You know, bangs a lot of times make your face look harsh. I know people say it's bangs or Botox, but um, you know, sometimes bangs can add. They they don't fit every face shape. My face is round, so. I'm not really sure if, if a, a straight across bang is going to work for me. So if you have a round face, that's something to think about. If you're going to cut bangs, please don't make them thick. If you want your wig to look natural, do not make your bangs thick. A lot of ladies have these thick bangs with their thick hair and it just it doesn't look natural. Um, so just, you know, keep that in mind as you're thinning bangs. But, you know, this I like this side sweat, but you could definitely, I've seen people trim bangs into these but i just i don't know i'm just not into bangs yet maybe i'll get there one day um you can easily because of the bangs um well that's not my hair this that's like my bio hair but you know you can uh, tuck it behind um this is an easy ear tuck oh let's see you can i have messed with um Oh, another thing I wanted to mention with this was that the, it is not a tangly wig. Like, I will brush it out at the end of the day, just because that's what I do with all my wigs when I put them up, and that's it. It's not, you know, I have other wigs that are longer, and they get tangly, and it you're just, you know, it's it, it can be a problem, it can be problematic, but this one is not tangly. Um, you can easily, because this one you know because it's hand tied um I just had like a little little claw clip thingy um you can put this back and then it takes some more off your face if you know how to braid you know those braids look really cool I have, I have still learned how to do that and I am always on uh so short for time I don't have time to like braid my wigs and make it look all fancy if I go to like a wedding or something I would totally do that but just for every day this would suffice or just leaving it down because you know the weather feels great right now so I'm not hot um I did have I have a Sarah uh by John Renault and she's hand tied and I wore her in the summer and she's longer so I the pieces the curls would get like like PC and um like like stuck together and just a little like chunky looking so it didn't look as good I'd have to bring a comb and comb it throughout the day this one I don't have to do that at all um as far as wearing hand tied um wigs in the summer versus wefted I would probably have to say wefted is going to be better um I'm not sure though I've only been wearing wigs for a little over a year so I'm still gonna have to play around with that and see how I feel 
um, human hair versus synthetic, wefted versus hand tied, you know, things like that, short versus long. I do know that regardless if it's human hair or synthetic, long hair makes me sweaty on the back. So um, I know I wore a lot of shorter wigs if I was going to be outdoors at all. Um, but yeah, so this is how you can pull her back. So um, let's talk about this color. I was talking about the color codes earlier. So um, it's 30A27 as four so 30 is the more um auburn and then uh like it's just straight up auburn and then the um 27 see 27 of that was auburn too so i think but it's more of like a brown a brown auburn because there's fs 27 and that is like a darker red a darker like it's a brownish red at least in my opinion so i think the 30 is more of an auburn and, um, and then the S4 is the almost black. To me, it's almost black. But here's the thing, with this double mono top, those knots are not, let me see, those knots aren't as noticeable. So if, you're, if you like that color and you wanna try it, get it in a double mono top so that way you're not worried about the lace front and the black dots because you know then it makes it look like you got hair plugs or then you know it can be more questionable depending on how the style looks but this is just uh it's a very beautiful color it's a very it's a color with mystique because a lot of times when i would just try this on at night in front of my bathroom lighting the worst lighting in the world in my opinion you couldn't it just looked dark um, but in like the right lighting, like look, as you see through, you can see, um, see maybe 30 is like closer to blonde, I guess. Uh, I'm going to say that 27 is the more auburn and 30 is getting closer to blonde. But you can see that subtle highlighting in the auburn peeking out. You see that? You can see it. And this is in our outdoor lighting. I'm like right next to my screen door. So I might be able to hear some birds flying by because I got my door open. But you can see that red coming out. So, but if I'm like farther away, you know, if it's not as bright out, then you might, you know, the color looks a little darker. But then if you go closer to outside, you know, you can see that beautiful color poking out it's like a like a peach in the shade that's probably why it's called shaded peach i totally get it um so yeah this color i absolutely love it i i don't know because of the the dark rooting i don't know if i would try this color in other wigs just because of the knotting and because i have like a i salted caramel and that's an s6 with a, a rooting of six so and those knots are, you know, hard enough to deal with. So I would imagine an S4 might be a little more difficult. So you could definitely get it away with this wig or like Camilla, because that's 100% hand tied and as bangs, so there's no lace front. So you could probably get away with those. Um, and then also, like with human hair, the color is always brighter. Like I would love to try this style, this color, or like the German chocolate in like a human hair, just because it'll be a little lighter and that rooting will be lighter. Um, so yeah, so this is her, I'm gonna give her a little spin. So she's, she's not too long. Like if I go like that, I can touch it. But other than that, she's above my shoulder blades. So, um, she's not super long. I don't know if that has to do with the tangling, like the fact that it doesn't have a lot of tangling, but yeah, she's not very long. Yeah, she's a very gorgeous. I want to get this color. Oh, I'm thinking of like 32F. I definitely want to get this in 32F because I love that color. Um, you know, if I I could probably get it in like 12F as 12 and like a, a blonde if I'm gonna go for that Farrah Fawcett look. But yeah, this color is absolutely gorgeous. She's a very look, just look at those colors peeking out. I do have some pictures of this color that I posted on my Instagram. Um, so just check that out. Um, you could see these gorgeous colors outside. Um, but yeah, so this is a very beautiful color. Uh, very, like I said, is with mystique because sometimes it looks darker and then you go in the right lighting and then just pop. You can see, see that highlighting, that 30 and then 
the 27 mixed in with the dark. Um, yeah, I absolutely love her. This is my, my go-to wig right now. And um, it's gonna be hard to like wear some of my other ones that I you know wanted to incorporate because I love this one so much. She's so comfy. I could wear all day and there's no problems. The ear tabs are not itchy. The ear tabs don't feel thick at all. Um, I had Amina by John Renault and those ear tabs felt thicker. These ones are like skinny. Skinny, it doesn't feel thick on my head. Um, so I don't know if that helps with the easy ear tuck, but um, yeah, it just in these bangs hide that lace front. So it's really not a problem. Um, so that's everything that I really have to say about this color. And uh, give this wig a try. It's beautiful. Like I said, it's, I highly recommend it. If you want low density, I recommend it. If you want um, gorgeous, beautiful, like chill curls, I recommend it. If you want a comfy wig that's not itchy, I recommend this wig. If you want, you know, realistic, legit scalp, I recommend this wig. So you gotta check her out and give her a shot and um you know this color is just absolutely gorgeous and i i have warm undertones so this color has worked beautifully for me and like i said i don't you know i wasn't too scared of the dark rooting because of the fact that it's a double mono top and my hair is not normally nearly that dark but this just seems to work you know wonderfully with my skin tone uh so give her a shot and uh thank you for watching and i'll see you soon so I just wanted to show you what this looks like outdoor in case it looks any different than where I do my filming. But here she is. You can see the red peeking out. Yeah. So, yeah can see some of the highlighting coming out and the outdoors. So anyways, hope this helped.